Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it is, oh, it's all shaky. It's Thursday morning. It's about quarter to eight. Um, we have to be on the children's ward for eight o'clock this morning for Isabel to have her op on her ankle. So we have got, Erin was really sweet this morning. She gave um, Isabel her her teddy. Does she bring Isabel all the time? That she had in hospital when she was baby. She gave Isabel her teddy to bring with her because um, she's she's worried about Isabel, bless her. So yeah, we are, uh, don't know what time she's gonna be seen today or anything else. So we're just gonna go in and um, take it as it comes really. And that's it. <laughs> you got so, are you ready? Down. Poor as well. He needs to make a way down. We do. We're gonna go. So, um, Isabel went off this morning. She went off about half past seven with Zoe. Um, yeah, I think everyone's a little bit. Everyone's a little bit worried. Um, we're all a little bit kind of on edge and, and stuff like that. You know, it was a quite a nasty break for her and. Um, Erin, you gave you gave Isabel your teddy this morning to take with her, didn't you? Yeah, your bunny teddy, didn't you? Because Erin's been uh, quite concerned, haven't you? You've been a bit worried about Isabel, haven't you? Yeah? So we're all kind of... Um, well, I'm carrying on with the stuff back at home. I'm going to get these to nursery in a minute um, and get Toby to school and all the good stuff. So it's kind of... It's just a, it's just a weird... It's a weird feeling when one of your kiddies is going to go and um, go and have an operation. It's... Uh, I mean, she's in great hands, Dr. Gray, she's in fantastic hands, but it's still, still got that bit of like, you know, butterflies and stuff, don't you? So, um, anyway, we'll wait for, a, we'll wait for a report from Zoe to see how she's getting on, um, after she's had her operation, eh? So, um, we'll go to school, I think. Why do I throw this What? I don't know. Yes? You're a bit worried, aren't you? Yeah, I know. I know you are. Don't push your brother off. I don't want another accident. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get them to school and uh, we'll catch up with Zoe later. Isabel, are yeah. you ready? What? I said, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Isabel's just chilling out at the moment in her bed in a hospital gown with her leg drawn on. <laughs> Show me your leg bow. Just so they get the right leg, just in case. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can tell. Time's up for me. Okay, so update. Um, it's, actually I don't know how short time it is. I think it's about 11 o'clock. Um, Isabel went down about 15 minutes ago um she was so she was going to go down earlier but we got halfway to theater and there was there was an emergency when we came in this morning so we had to wait a little bit um and then we were halfway to theater and another emergency came in so um we had to uh, go back to the ward again but um i mean they're lovely up there so it's it's no it's no big great shakes um it's really windy out here so yeah so she went down about quarter to eleven, um, I've just been to the shop. Got myself the, you know, the healthy supplies. Apart from I forgot the coffee, I don't know how. I got my iron brew. I got my, my snacks that cost me about a fiver. Um, so I'm going to go and wait on the ward for her. She, I, you know, with Isabel, because I'm mixing everything up now. So um, I could go down to theatre with her, but I wasn't allowed to stay with her where she had the anaesthetic obviously because of covid and everything else so i've had to kind of leave her which i felt a bit bad about isabel is is the type of person she doesn't make a fuss about anything she doesn't speak about much and she doesn't make a fuss um she won't say if she's in pain you have to keep asking her she won't say if things are worrying her she doesn't really get upset very easily um and she tends to you know bottle things up a lot so she's kind of she's pretty tough but you have to kind of watch out because she does she tends to to keep everything inside so 
she was okay going down. Um, she seemed to be all right. Uh, she wasn't too upset. She was quite blase about it all. She um, she didn't, she wasn't really bothered. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna wait for her to come back up. Hope she's not in too much pain. Um, but yeah, just gonna wait for her to come out now and hope, fingers crossed, it all goes as it should do. So that is Isabel back up on the ward now. She's had her surgery. You alright, Isabel? Yeah. She's a little bit away with the fairies. <laughs> I knew as well. But she's alright. I think she's in a bit of pain at the moment, but she's okay. Isabel? Are you feeling a bit better? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we just had the amazing news that um, Isabel is out of surgery. She's awake. Uh, she's a bit groggy and sore. Um, but it's amazing news. I'm glad she's uh, had the operation. Everything went really well. Uh, I've had a little bit of information from Zoe. She said that um, they only managed to put one screw in because there wasn't enough uh, room down there in the bottom of her foot. So, uh, in her ankle. So, we'll have to see when Zoe comes back later, we'll have a proper chat about it and um, see where we're going next. But it's fantastic news. I'm so glad she's got through the operation. I've told the kids as well, we've just had lunch. I've told the kids, or we're just having lunch. I've told the kids all about it and they're made up as well. So that's fantastic news. So now just looking forward to them coming home. Let's have a look at your leg then. It's a bit red. Leg. Red. She's still got a right in. We're going home, Isabel. We're going home now. This way. Right. Oh, yes. I'm not going too slow. Isabel's mastering the crutches. Just slow down. <laughs> okay, so it's quarter to five and we are back in the car, ready to go home. Um, well, actually we're gonna go and get McDonald's for Isabel first. Yeah. So she has had her op. She has been in for a few hours of obs afterwards. Um, and she only had one pin, put, uh, one screw put in in the end because they couldn't fit a second screw in. And um, we haven't seen the x-rays or anything yet. I was trying to have a look, uh, get a copy of them, but we haven't seen them yet. But she's got to go back to clinic in a week. So hopefully we'll be able to see um, pictures of what they've done. Which one's that? Then. Here or we'll Here. To the, uh, his, the consultant's clinic. Uh. Um, so yeah, so she goes back and then she gets another cast on as well. Good um colored cast she's saying um so yeah that's kind of where we're got, at we at got the in the car just in time why it started to rain started raining isabel isn't phased pretty much at the fact that she just had surgery because she's pretty tough um i think she's in a bit of she was in a bit of pain when she came out but they've given her some meds and um she can have some more when she gets home so all in all all is okay operation went um as well as it could have gone obviously a lot of it is going to be waiting and seeing how it heals um so it's going to be she's um she's got to be non-weight bearing for four weeks so it's going to be going to be a tough one but i'm sure that she'll manage she's got like a back slab cast on it at the moment um to allow for the swelling uh so she's got to be extra careful and then obviously We'll go back in a week and it's not just get it changed. It's on the side as well. Well, yeah, but they kind of they just leave a strip up the middle of the whole yeah. thing so that it allows for swelling because obviously like you've had well. um, you've had a, you've, an incision and yeah. stuff. 
so yeah um so that's us just about to get mcdonald's and go home hey whoa this was got a mcdonald's and a mcflurry and a mcflurry and a blanket because <laughs> it's cold and she didn't got shorts on and i got red feet yeah, bright red feet. And the pen. Okay, so that is us. We are home. Um, we got home about quarter to five. No, quarter to six. Sorry, about quarter to six. Um, Isabel is settled on the sofa. She's got everybody surrounding her, so she's okay. Everybody wanted to come and say hello to her to make sure she was all right. Um, but yeah, it's gone it's gone quite well. She's it's been quite successful, I think. She's got to go back to the clinic in a week um, and see the consultant. And I think have her cash changed as well. Um, so yeah, she's been. I'm really proud of her. Bless her. She's. She's been really, really brave. It's quite a big thing to go through surgery for anybody. So, and she's just taken it in her stride. I mean, she takes everything in her stride, bless her. But she also tends to bottle things up. Like I was saying earlier on, she does tend to kind of keep things in and not until it, she doesn't speak about it until it gets to the point where she kind of is overwhelmed by it. So, um, I mean, she doesn't let thing, many things get to her. She does kind of just brush a lot of stuff off. Um, and she is quite, you know, she's quite confident in herself. Um, which is a good thing, a really good thing. She's very confident in what she likes and, you know, she likes to to do what she likes to do. So, um, and she doesn't, she's not worried about what other people think of her, um, which is, is really nice to see that she's got that confidence in herself. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of her today for just taking it all in her stride and still smiling at the end of the day. And even though she's in pain, she's still, you know, she's still smiling. And I'm really, really proud of all the rest of them as well, because, you know, when we have a crisis in this family, everybody pulls together and we don't ask them to do it. They do it because they want to do it. So, all, you know, they've all been rallying around her. All her sisters have been helping her out and, you know, just being there for her. And when something affects one of us, it affects all of us so you know, they've been helping out with Ben today you know they've been helping all the others more than they I mean they always help out but um you know they've been kind of taking over my role a little bit today as well because they've been doing all the things you know making sure that the little ones are all okay and helping Ben out and it's it's times like these that you know you think I'm so proud of all of them I'm all I mean we're always proud of all of them everybody knows that we're always proud of all of them they're all amazing but you know this just makes you love them that little bit more I think when things like this happen um just to see them all rallying around helping and just being kind and caring and you know compassionate and all of those things and they're all incredible and I'm really proud of them all of them and I'm proud of Isabel for, you know, for going through what she's... I mean, it was Monday a minute ago when she did it, and now it's only Friday, so it's been all week, really. She's uh, kind of... We've been back and forth to the hospital, so, yeah. And, of course, you know, um, it goes without saying that the staff at Dr Gray's are just amazing. They always are, you know. They are just incredible. They're... Um, I mean, we've spent quite a lot of time going in and out of the children's ward and in and out of the hospital in general. And they've always been amazing. They're always so kind and so friendly and they always make you feel at home. They always make the kids feel at ease whenever we've had to take any of them in. Um, they're just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. We couldn't ask for um, better staff than we've got. You know, the nurses, the doctors, everybody, all of them. I say staff because I mean all of them. Um, you know and it's it's kind of 
they sort of know us a little bit as well um because we've been in there quite a few times so there's always somebody that we see that we know and but they're all always lovely and it definitely helps so much with especially with kids you know helps them to feel more at home in, in, in do you know what i mean more comfortable that's the word i'm looking for more comfortable and not scared and not worried and um because that's the main thing for us really is that you know we try and people might sort of say oh you know you don't look like you take it all that seriously but i don't want to come across to the kids especially that i'm worried because then they'll be worried you know um i need to kind of you sort of show a a um less worried front i can't think of the words i'm very tired um but you know what i mean you you kind of come across as you know oh, it'll be okay and you know we'll all be fine and all will be okay and you'll be all right because even though deep down as a parent you're really really worried and you think of all the things that could possibly go wrong um you, I, I don't always show that to the kids because they don't need that unnecessary worry you know she it's enough for her to just go through the surgery and come back and we'll deal with the rest later you know she doesn't need to know the ins and outs of everything right there and then you know we can do little bits as we gradually go along and there might be some things that she you know we don't know about how long her recovery will be just yet obviously we know she's going to be off her feet for four weeks and mm. then um and then after that i, I don't know i whether it'll be physio whether she'll be in a different cast whether she'll be having like a moon boot or i'm not entirely sure yet so it's pointless worrying her with things that we don't know yet you know so we just take each week as it comes and each day as it comes really and manage the pain and help her to heal make sure she stays still that's going to be a difficult one because she doesn't like staying still um keep turning around and finding her stood up i'm like what are you doing stood up go and sit down i was just going for a little wonder no don't go for a wonder go and sit down but yeah i'm sure that she will heal fine there is obviously a little bit of a, a concern about um the growth issues but again that's something that we can deal with later down the line for now she's had the surgery she's home um everybody's safe everybody's under one roof and i'm happy that we're all here together safe in the house and all my babies are here with me and ben obviously so yeah that's today's update obviously we will continue to uh update everyone as and when we know anything and as she's been to the clinics and stuff like that but for now um i hope you enjoyed this update if you can kind of say that but thanks for watching um drop us a comment if you like uh make sure you subscribe Ben tells me all the things I've got to say at the end of the video and I always forget but you know we really appreciate it guys we really appreciate everybody watching so thank you very much and we will see you soon